hey what is happening what is going on welcome back to the channel so i think not the last video the previous video before that i um made it just a, a tutorial just showing you a little bit about the back black body uh to light to plug into your mission to light your scenes so what i thought i'd do is just show you how i let this this pretty cool scene in the thumbnail i use it for the thumbnail of that video as well but yeah i thought i'd just talk about it so i'm not going to recreated it over here but i'm just going to explain a little bit about the theory behind this and how you can get some pretty cool results using this technique i love it and that's what i shared with you guys so first thing i got this super cool porsche model from uh from blender kit so yeah if i go here and i've got it saved there so feel free to check out blender kits i'll leave a link in the description 10 percent off but i think this is an amazing add-on probably the best add-on for blender most versatile so yeah not sponsored but check it out so what i did was i obviously created a little plane i didn't use any material on it so you can see here if i go here to material literally no material i just made it dark okay so the plane completely dark let me just do this Okay, then obviously added a camera. So a camera like this. You can always change your camera ratio. You just by going here, boom, change it like that. Then the light. So simple area light. You can see something like that. You don't want it too small. You don't want it too big either. You want to kind of focus on the car. So if I go to Z, you can see it's roughly like that. Okay. Like I said, you don't want it too big. And you want it to be an area light. And then, so if I go here to camera, and I go here now, so if you, you can see it looks terrible. It's, uh, it's terrible. But where this looks pretty cool is if I just go to shading, so the area light, you can see I've got it on this and the color temperature. I've got it on 1500. Okay, on the black body, obviously I'm not using the, the, emission on alone i'm using the black body which i think is pretty cool so let's go back here now where this becomes awesome and where where i feel like it changes the scene you don't need anything in the background so obviously the world is obviously also dark okay i've made it completely dark this is crucial and then what i did was i added a cube so you can see here to cover the scene okay and this is where the magic happens so if i go back to camera view and zoom in and now i've got something like that okay now let's just hide this and it obviously looks a bit weird now but you'll see when i render it will look a lot better and i'll render it for you as well so you can see but obviously by the thumbnail you can see what it looks like and it looks really good it doesn't look as good now but what i did was with the cube you can see here let's just go here Go to shading, changes like this, and with the cube, I deleted the principal PSDF, added a principal volume, plug the volume into the volume, and I change the density to 0 0.1. Nothing else. And then if I go to layout, you can see how nice it looks. And it looks really nice. And you can see the area light almost seems like there's something up top here creating that light. And the, you can obviously then adjust your density so you can make it. 0 0.2 and you can see that also gives it kind of a, a nicer look if you want a little bit more cinematic like fog that kind of stuff you can always add the density and you can always bring your area light strings up you can make it like 2000 and you can just like i said you can play around with it till you find something that you like but i'm going to make it 1000 and change this cube to 0 0.1 for me that looks good and then when i render so just make sure that you always save all the time just so that you don't lose how far you are and then render settings pretty simple like i said there 300 and 256 for the tile size and persistent dots are checked and i just hit f12 and there we go that's how nice it looks so you can see the difference 
and I think this looks really cool. It gives you that like Blade Runner feel to it, you know, that cinematic Blade Runner orange, and I think it looks amazing. So yeah, I thought I'd share with you guys. Obviously, if you don't want this, you could always change. You can see the difference there. So it makes a big difference, but you can always go to your area light, change this, something like 500, or you can bring it up to something like 4000 and it makes it like like that so you can always then render it like this like f12 and see how this looks and there we go this also looks pretty cool it looks a little bit more natural but it's still got that nice cinematic feel to it you know it feels like it's been lit professionally and it looks pretty cool and you can always adjust the camera angle but check this out so let's go back here now let's go back to 1000 Actually, it was one far, sorry. Just need to remember. It looks pretty cool. And then you can just go here and just find a spot that you like. So let's say like this, something like that. Click on your camera, control alt zero, and then just adjust it a little bit. So we want to adjust the X. Something like that. Let's have a look now. Look how nice it also looks. But it's obviously got that reflection, so you might not want that. You can see if I move it around. You can find just a nice angle that you like. But I think this looks awesome. And you can see there. Something like that looks good. Control Alt Zero. And then go F12. Render it and see what it looks like. Yeah, but even this looks pretty cool. Uh, I don't like this. I'd obviously probably lift the light higher. Or... Just change the just change the scale of it till I get something that I like. But yeah, or you can just make this uh, make this wind windshield non reflective. So you could just go into the material and just change it like that. But yeah. I think it looks pretty cool. So like I said, this is not a tutorial, but I thought I'd just share it with you guys. Hopefully you enjoy this kind of stuff. I feel like I'll do more of these kind of videos where I just talk a bit about what I do and how I do it and yeah, just teach you everything I know because yeah, it's free and I just want to make you guys better at Blender. So hopefully you enjoyed the video. Make sure you subscribe, check out the Patreon, check out Blender Kits. Like I said, 10% off, great add-on, use it all the time. But yeah, like I said, see you in the next video. Peace.